Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the plat. Welcome to another episode of Check It Out. I want to kind of do one of those. And today we're checking out Curse of the Dead Gods. I kind of want to do one of those repic rap rap battle of history intros where I change a little bit every time. Already out of ideas. I'm like four episodes in. So we're probably just going to keep it a little more uniform. Um, so yeah, today we're checking out Curse of the Dead Gods. Um, a little bit of a spoiler. Well, one, I've never played this game. Two, I do plan on playing more of this um, to have this replace Rogue Legacy, but I wanted to do an official check it out to see if maybe you guys were interested, but um, I am going to record a few episodes of it just to kind of get a feel, see if it's something that fits for the channel. Hopefully you guys, if you watch this, let me know if you want to see more. Um, and if you don't want to see more, then I'll find something else to replace Rogue Legacy 2 until we get an update for that game. Um, it says controller recommended. I was definitely not going to use a controller. However, I'm not going to tell the developers how to play their game. They're going to tell me how to play their game. So, we're just gonna jump right in. No idea what's gonna happen. Save slot one, two, and three. I was thinking about putting Hades in this spot also, but with 1.0 so close, I don't know. I, I think I might wait till 1.0 for Hades. I like this intro. Also, if we need to move our camera, we will uh, figure that out once the game starts. I haven't seen the UI. I've seen very little of this game, but I know that it's people love it. You know, people have been digging it. Uh oh, he got in further than I thought. I thought he could have made that run. No, no problem. The torch illuminates your surroundings. It could set flammable objects on fire. Okay. Awesome. So it's going to be like a tutorial first. I dig this. We're going to crank it just a little bit. And I'm going to lower all the volume. Oh, it's not so loud to me, but you guys can look a little bit better. I'm sorry. Here we go. <clears throat> all right. So the torch is A. Cool beans. Okay. Dead end. Can you fall off the edge? Doesn't seem like it. Wonder if these will get unlocked later, or if they're just nothing. All right, here's a big old fancy door. That's a big ass door. I mean, if it's a door, I guess I don't know for sure. Right, our arm is gone. No, it just been turned purple. Attributes, gold or gold. I want attributes, but so besides the first one, relics. This gives us two mystery rooms, gold, two relics, and two attributes, and then healing if we need it at a multiple branches off. Also, a chance for a weapon. Cool. Let's give it a go. I guess why not? Attributes seem good. This, it, this seems like it has like a Dead Cells-esque attribute system. I haven't played Dead Cells yet myself, though, either. So there's so many games in this genre. I feel like you could play 100 and still not, you know, have played them all. Cool. Um, okay, X, Y is range attack that consumes stamina. Wait. Oh, okay, there we go. Understood. Sorry. Cool. Can we use this to attack? Oh, it seems like you can. We're learning. We're learning. We took a lot of hits there, but it's alright, we're learning. Chalice of Vigor. Relic. 33 to all healing effects. That uh, seems good, right? Is there hidden rooms? Okay, so you can't have your weapon out and this at the same time, huh? Fuck. Okay. Understood. What is setting that off? I don't see anything that sets it off. Maybe there's no trap indicator. I, I think I remember there being like, like there's the traps you can see, right? Like down here. And if your torch is out, you can't see them. You can see that one, but you can't, the ones behind it, you can see. 
I wonder if you can just run through that or if you have to do a dodge roll. All right, you have to do the dodge roll. Understood. One of the experiment. Point. Out of stamina. Got to be careful with that. Stamina seems hyper important. So, enemies do recoil. At least most seem to. Point. Like that. Excuse me. So, these guys aren't as bad. At least, you know, alone. I'm sure in a room, suddenly they're, like, really annoying. All right, so yeah, there's a light dark mechanic for sure, which is like really awesome. All these are dead ends anyway. I just happen to choose the right direction. I'm a genius. Let me make sure my oh, voice changer, changer isn't on. on. It's not. I, I I've been pretty good about that recently, but oh. we got hops. Oh, I thought we could interrupt them. Apparently not. I mean, you, I'm sure you can, but we're a little bit slower than I thought. All right, range doesn't seem to interrupt. Okay, obviously we're going to go mess with the big glowy statue of death in the middle here. I assume it's our attribute. Oh, you have to offer gold bl or blood. Um, ten percent damage, twenty-five percent gold fine. Oh, what? Oh, or you can get both. Damage gold find or damage and gold find. We don't have enough gold for it, but we'll offer blood. Yes. All right, so that gives us the corruption. How to, look at the reason we gave him corruption is because we're not going to do very well, right? And so I already assume we're not going to live long enough for the corruption to be hugely significant to us. Like if you die from the normal fights, right? The the late game of the corruption is not as relevant, I don't think. Oh, well, that was my bad. Jesus, these traps are pretty brutal. No joke. Whoa! What the heck happened there? It's like they exploded, but one of them kept going. I assumed that they would hit the wall. Apparently not. Alright, at least we know how to deal with that room in the future, I suppose. Man. I really need to get the hang of uh, when you're able to hit those guys and when you're not going to be able to. Money. Oh, what is this? A mace? And we'll take it, right? Finishes deal critical damage. 23 plus 2. I don't know what that means, but... I don't know. It seems like it does more damage, so we're going to take it. And guarantee crits on finishers, right? It just seems good. Uh-oh. Oh, you couldn't interrupt that attack. Sometimes you get interrupted, sometimes I don't. 20% base damage for bows. We don't have bows, do we? Can you see these? You can see those, okay. I won't lie, we're already through like half our HP, right? We're not exactly killing it. Luckily, this game seems relatively forgiving. Like in terms of you just have a big amount of HP. Plus three perception, it's a relic, okay. I believe that's just more money, right? Is there a map for the floor you're on? I mean, there's that map, but for like the specific room? Maybe not. Whatever that is. Oh, health, damage, and gold find. I guess gold find's probably surprisingly good. Final curse, okay. Be careful with that final curse business. We could just use healing, honestly, let's do it, right? We're going to get a curse here, right? Oh! Dark Fevor. Or Fervor. 
Once the darkness is in your blood, nothing can stop its spread, not even death. Corruption now passively increases over time. That sounds terrible. Going through a door no longer provokes corruption. Okay, well, you know, positive and negatives. Oh, it gives you corruption. Well, you know, this is why learning game mechanics is important. Do we want a weapon? Oh, I guess we just go unknown. Oh, okay. Now I understand. It, it, it when you go, it kind of deletes the thing that was behind you. So I was like, what? Why is my perception all weird? What? Unknown. Okay. Yeah, that is healing. I wasn't hundred percent sure. I do want to get a bow if we can. I mean, I don't know how much relics are going to help us. I'm sure they're good, but. I'd rather just get a slightly better weapon, I think. I, I don't I don't know how powerful relics are. I bet normally I would choose relic. Nice. Watch out for that. Oh, watch out. Th those guys are going to become nothing eventually. Don't worry. I, I guess when they start attacking, you can't interrupt them. For some reason, I thought you could, but I think when you're attacking them, they can't start attacking, basically. Uh-oh. Light up these guys. Just ignore that attack. It's okay. Oh, wait, we dodged the wrong way there. Oh, and they give you corruption when they do that, too. That's awesome. You can you charge that up for more damage? I guess. 22. Oh, we got a skull thingy. Did we do it? Oh, you have to choose off. We have gold, though. What is that plus 7? Is that how much damage is doing? One, plus 1% 1 base point damage. Sorry, base damage for point dexterity. Secondary weapon shield. Oh, you get it instead of your revolver. Restores 1% of max health for each enemy killed. 1% uh, base damage per point of perception. Hey, I do like this 80, 30% damage against bosses. Oh, we don't have enough for it. How, how much? Can we see how much gold it costs? We have 1,000. Oh, it's 1,600. It's up there. Understood. All right. Deals critical damage against elites, champions, and bosses. Let's take it. Oh. You actually get a secondary weapon or something. Wait, does it? No. Oh. I thought it cost, like, corruption to use it or whatever. Um, all right, so relic time. I don't know if we're doing good or doing bad for a very first run, but I don't, I'm not feeling bad about it. I, I'm not going to do too much exploring, honestly. I didn't know what he was doing. Oh, it costs stamina to use. Understood. Understood. Oh, we should pull this out, right? You never know when there's going to just be traps around. Um, uh, yeah, well, six dexterity. What the fuck? Minus 20% gold offering cost, plus three dexterity. Plus one level on two-handed weapon, and plus four perception. We'd have to offer blood. 72. Let's just take what we could afford. Let's take the six dexterity, right? That's more damage. Might even be like 60% more damage, something like that. We look. No, plus 22%. Okay. Um, Like, we could have leveled this up. Maybe the, the level is that two, and the plus 15 is how much damage it's getting for the level. Okay, so so you can have a main weapon, a secondary weapon, and a two-handed weapon, I guess. That's my perception. 
And it does extra damage per point of dexterity, so I think we, we're doing okay there. Um, I should be said we're almost to a boss. We actually don't take any corruption from that, though, so I guess our corruption is probably on average slower. It seems like it might be really good, unless corruption's a good thing, or semi a good thing, you know? We have a set amount of, um, oh, it takes, uh, I don't think we have, oh, shit, that was my bad. Boink. Cool. Oh, what is this? Minus 10% gold offering cost? I mean, it seems good. I guess you could just pick up relics randomly as well. Maybe that increases with your perception. We're not going to dick around. We're just going to go for the boss. What is that? That was my bad. Whoa. I thought we dodged out of the way of that for sure. All right. Honestly, not too bad. I mean, we're taking a fuck ton of damage, right? I assume that you're supposed to be almost perfect on these. Yeah, so gold is a big deal. 250 max health is no joke. We're going to take this. You know why? Because I don't... I'm not confident we're going to live that much longer. It's a boss, right? In a roguelike. Usually means you die on the first one. Oh, we have, we have one more zone still. All right, fair. Kind of wish we had healing right before the boss. The shadows can play tricks upon the eye. Best they named so the enemy cannot lie. Regular enemies are now concealed within the shadows. Oh no. Concealing enemies are revealed by light and when attacking. Got him. Nerd. Oh my god, I have never seen that before. Boink. Oh. You can't interrupt their attack! Okay, so you have to dodge it at the last second because it's almost got like a hit scan feeling thing. We're learning. It's going to take a while to learn all the enemy patterns. No joke. Is that it? Oh, there's a weapon. Right? Oh, here it is. So sorry. That would I, that would have been embarrassing. Two-handed main weapon. Ooh. Looks like it has less damage, but it has 28 plus 38. I don't I just don't understand. A parry. I didn't know there were parries. Uh, this actually gets plus 20% base damage if a secondary weapon is a shield. And uh, the shield had a benefit if the other one things, okay? Um, we're not going to take any of these, honestly. I just like what I got right now. I wouldn't have chosen to go to a weapon thing if I could have avoided it. But, you know, here we are. All right, champion. Let's see if you got what it takes to handle us. The answer is, I guarantee it, yes. Oh, okay. Alright, let's kill your dogs first. Oh, double, double hit. Watch out. Is this a dark dog? Light him up. I like this heavy weapon shit, I won't lie. Cool. Nice. Honestly, that guy was no problem at all. Maybe we have a really powerful big shield or something. I feel like we were getting corrupted by fighting him. 
Dude, look at that. Look at all these skulls. Okay, we can't go that way. So we're going to go down the creepy portal of death. Oh, it cleared our corruption. Victory! Oh, would you look at that? We got through our first, uh, you know, whatever our first attempt is. I assume that normal runs will go deeper, but... It said we played for 10 minutes. I don't know about that. We'll take a look here. All right, let's take a look around. See if there's a hub world or something. Good fight. Blood emblem acquired. Plus one new exploration available. Six new blessings available. Don't know what that shit means. Nothing over here yet. Um, well, let's take a look. Maybe we do here for something. All right, we got Skull Unlocks. Blessings, Divine Favor. Each favor allows you to refresh the choice of items and weapon uh, or relic shrines. I'm sure that's really cool. We're not going to get that yet. 40 skulls. Okay, so we unlock things by with the skulls. And also, um, things are just locked until we do things also. But you need certain things to unlock them. Okay. Whenever an enemy is set on fire, he has a 50% chance to be weakened for a short duration. No effects against champions or bosses. I wonder if it has like level one, level two, or if it's always that. Um, deal 50% more damage for six seconds when you take damage. Gain five constitution at the start of your expiration. Okay, let's look for the things we can actually afford. A thousand gold. I kind of like the idea of just having a good old, thou, you know, flat thou. I'll take that. Can it level up? No, but that's okay. We got three skulls. We got some whip. All right, and I th honestly, I think that's gonna do it for check it out. We, we kind of got an idea. I'm sure that the game will expand. Yeah, look at a short exploration. Here we go. Uh, an introduction to the Temple of the Jaguar. And then you get long, hard, very hard final. Here we go. Oh, and there's events too. That thing is spinning and it's loud and I fucking hate it. Hopefully the whole game wasn't too loud to hear. Um, escape from your worst nightmare, fear, permanent, hallucination. So these are like daily events. I, I Like daily runs, I suppose. Oh, I'm so sorry. Is there a first clear bonus, I guess? That's what that that's what this thing means. So I wonder, um, they didn't teach me about reposting or parrying, I don't think. Maybe I missed it. And then there's another temple on the thing. Cool, so there's a lot. Yeah, we got a lot of fun stuff we could do. Honestly, we'll probably start with the serpent. And then we'll, you know, just kind of try to do them evenly as we go. Anyway, guys. That was a really, really, that was really fun. Like, super fun. We didn't get a really idea of how builds go, right? It's an, it was an introduction to the mechanics, but I'm very, please, please stop. Introduction to the mechanics and everything. So, uh, I'm very just excited to keep playing. Let me know if you want to see more. Um, I would love to do more. And I'm going to do more regardless. But if you don't like it and it doesn't click with the channel, then I'll stop. I'm only going to, I just need a couple extra videos this week. And, uh, wasn't sure what to play. And Curse of the Dead God seemed really fun. Anyway, guys, I forgot to mention at the video, but this game's currently available on Steam. It's not new. You know, it's available for like $17.99 right now. Um, early access still. New temple coming soon from what I've read. And that's going to be it. Much love. Peace out. For Platypus is for Platypus. And I will see you next time.